Good morning! This week was jam-packed with all kinds of drumming and concerts and clinics at the Percussive Art Society International Convention. And of course I vlogged the entire thing, because life is a vlog. Oh, let's go! So let's get started with the Boston Crusaders drumline. Another big part of PASIC is the Expo Hall, which is a gigantic room filled with all of the drum companies showing off their gear and giving us drummers a chance to play on it and test it all out. If this video gets 3,000 likes on it, Tony G is going to create his own YouTube channel and upload his own vlog. Oh yeah, he definitely said he was gonna do that. I'm definitely not making this up. 3,000 likes. Here we have the Drummer's Heritage Concert, which features all kinds of different marching percussionists playing different styles from all around the world. Some of you might remember this video I posted where I made a fake audition video for the Hellcats. And I talked to Jeff Prosperi and yeah, he saw it and he thought it was hilarious. And apparently the Hellcats are making some kind of response to my audition video. I don't know if it's a video of their own to me, but whatever it is, I'm definitely looking forward to watching it.
Speaking of Mapex, I am going to be doing an epic giveaway slash live performance video on December 9th at Highland Regional High School in New Jersey. And I was talking to the Mapex guys and the Sabian guys, and we're working on a very, very epic prize, soon to be announced. And as I said in the giveaway announcement video, I will be spoiling some prizes from videos now on. So in addition to the Zildjian symbol and the Vicfirth backpack with sticks, we also have this pair of Vicfirth noise-canceling headphones. Very high quality, pretty expensive too. I'll announce the Mapex slash Sabian prize uh, very soon as well. So make sure you buy tickets to this event very, very soon before they get sold out. All funds are supporting Highland Regional High School Indoor Percussion Ensemble. Okay, back to PASIC. There is an individual and ensemble competition every single year for high school and college categories. So let's go check some of those out. And you can't go to PASIC without checking out the drum set clinics, okay? These are some of the best drum set players in the world that come out to these every year, and it's some very good playing and some very good information. Do you guys remember this when I won the world's fastest drummer contest in 2018? Well, they brought it back again to PASIC 2022. And I'm not allowed to win it again because, well, I already won it. And anyways, I kind of suck now because I haven't really practiced that. But yo, the competition was really intense this year. Like, there was people there that were, like, way better than I was in 2018. I'm glad they didn't go out that year. Okay, we got the EMC Productions takeover here at the world's fastest drummer booth. He is on pace for that drum set. Everyone, look like you're having fun. You're in the vlog. Yeah. Well, we got a lot of people up here trying this. They don't want the videos and everything. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we got 10 seconds. Everyone make some noise. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So then we went to watch Rhythm X Cymbal Line throw down some notes. Another cool thing to check out in the area is the Rhythm Discovery Center. There's all kinds of very unique and historical percussion instruments housed here. Oh, 
I know that. Out of this world. Thank you. Indianapolis, it's November 12th. What are you doing out here? This is ridiculous. Knock it off. Right, guys? Yeah. Cut the crap. Here we go, EMC Productions, home of the best club drum content on the internet. Okay, so we got a, a joint collab composition contest with Peter Erskine. Everyone's coming up to this booth and writing two bars, and I wrote these two bars. And Pesic knows how to end their show with a bang. There is always the evening concert to look forward to, so here's some clips from that. And then afterwards in the Westin Hotel, we have the late night drum hang. This is where some of the top drum set players come and sit in on some tunes.
Honestly, the best part about going to PASIC is probably the social experience, okay? You get to meet up with all sorts of old friends and even make some new ones. PASIC always seems to line up with the Marine Corps birthday, so I went out with a bunch of Marine Corps people on that day and got some fancy pantsy dinner. And of course, it's always a good experience for me to meet some of my fans. I feel like a freaking famous celebrity at these kind of events. There's just all kinds of people running up to me every two seconds. And I appreciate all you guys watching my videos, and that's what keeps me in business and making more. And if you didn't get a chance to meet me live and in person, well, you can with this fundraiser that I talked about earlier. All of the super good reaction box seats are taken already, but there are still the $100 stage seats. You'll be featured in the video a whole lot if you do that. And did I mention I'm giving away a whole bunch of really expensive prizes? I did? No. Oh. Okay then. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog video experience. I will probably go back to PASIC every single year now until forever. But if you enjoyed it, don't forget to click that subscribe button, ring that Liberty Bell, and click that like button. Thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon. If you are able to, please consider going over there to make a donation. It will help the channel out a whole lot. And also consider buying a custom t-shirt such as this one. I will leave that link in the description. And have a good morning.